I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about trigonometric substitution. In problem number 47, we'd like to evaluate the definite integral from 0 to 1 of dx over the square root of x squared plus 16. All right. As in all other trigonometric substitution problems, the first question I should ask is what is the form of this trig substitution? And the form here is x squared plus a squared. And x squared plus a squared gives me a substitution that looks like x should be a tangent theta. a in this case is the square root of 16 or 4, so we get 4 tangent theta. So dx is equal to 4 secant squared theta d theta. Okay, I've got my substitution set up, so let's do it. I can rewrite this guy as the integral of dx, but now dx becomes 4 secant squared theta d theta all over the square root of x squared, which would be 16 tangent squared theta plus 16. And now we get to deal with our limits of integration. So there's a couple ways that I can go about dealing with these limits of integration. I can either like it, how it is, like I could say, okay, if x is 0, what is theta? And in this case, if x was 0, tangent of theta would be 0, and so this would be 0. And then what if x was 1? Then I get that tangent of theta is a fourth, and so theta is tan inverse of 1 fourth, which is perfectly fine to write tan inverse of 1 fourth up here. It's a little ugly, but it will get the job done. Uh, if you need it to. If you don't like that, you can always switch back uh, to x's at the end and evaluate from 0 to 1. Both ways work just as well. Uh, I usually like to switch limits of integration when I integrate. That said, let's keep going. Let's simplify 16 tangent squared theta plus 16. Uh, I can pull the 16 out, uh, factor it out, and I can even take it outside the integral. When it comes outside the integral, it will be a 4. I'm sorry, when it comes outside the radical, it will be a 4 also when it comes outside the integral. So I could cancel that 4 with those 16s and I just have a 1 right there. Now I can rewrite this integral as the integral from 0 to tan inverse of 1 fourth of secant squared theta d theta divided by the square root of tan squared of theta plus 1. And of course tangent squared theta plus 1 is otherwise known as secant squared of theta. So we could rewrite this guy as integral from 0 to tan inverse of 1 fourth of secant squared theta divided by, well, this is just tangent squared theta. So it's the square root of secant squared theta d theta. Of course, the square root of secant squared theta is secant, so that's one secant, which cancels one secant up here, and I'm left with the integral from zero to tan inverse of one fourth of secant theta d theta. The antiderivative of secant theta, we need to remember, it is ln of the absolute value of secant of theta plus tangent of theta plus c. Uh, I'm sorry, not plus c. We want to evaluate that from zero to tan inverse of one fourth. Okay, so let's plug things in. We get ln of the absolute value of secant of tan inverse of one fourth plus tangent 
of tan inverse of one fourth. Well, tangent of tan inverse of something is one fourth minus ln of the absolute value, plug in zero, and I get secant of zero. Well, secant is the same as one over cosine of zero. Cosine of zero is one, so it's just one. And then tangent of zero is zero, so it's just ln of one. And we all know that ln of one is zero, so that just goes away. Okay, the last thing I really need to look at here is what is secant of tan inverse of one fourth? Well, let's do a little work here, and I think we can figure it out. Remember, tan inverse of something is an angle. So if this is tan inverse of one fourth, theta in other words, then tangent of that angle is one fourth. Well, what does that mean? Well, tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. And what does that mean for this side? That this side would be the square root of what? Well, it would be the square root of 4 squared plus 1 squared, or 17. So that's the square root of 17. And if I want to know what the secant of that angle is, then the secant of that angle is going to be the hypotenuse over the adjacent. So it's the square root of 17 over 4. So in other words, this is ln of absolute value, square root 17 over 4, plus 1 fourth, and that is my answer. If you wanted to combine this into one fraction, perfectly acceptable, but this is also the correct answer.